Um, first of all, I'm vanillaadelphia.eth slash ethtard.eth slash a couple other names. Um, I have been around with Avogachi for, I don't know, since before the ghost token was a thing, um, just helping them with their community. I've been an apprentice, an artist. These are all like community roles, which generally anybody can get. Um, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that too. Um, go ahead, Penguin, did you have a question or? <clears throat> I didn't hear your question. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to fix my camera. It looked like my camera was stuck. Oh, uh, that's all right. Sorry to interrupt. No, no problem. Um, so anyway, um, I'll start here, which is avogachi.com, uh, which is where all the action happens. Um, so for those of you that don't know, an avogachi is basically a little NFT ghost. Um, which is also a yield generating DeFi asset all in one. And it's incredible. Um, so I'm going to explain, I guess, a little bit about how to play it and, and what, what is going on here. Um, when you first come to the app, you'll, you'll be greeted by this screen. Um, and this is a new addition here, uh, the connect to Matic button. So the entire game is now played on Matic or Polygon. So kind of fitting um, with some of the other people that we're talking today. Um, so if you can click on that button and it'll switch the network for you. So just a neat little feature. You still would have to bridge your tokens over beforehand, uh, which I'd be happy to help walk anybody, to anybody through. Um, but you can also do that right on the Avogachi app as well. Um, so, from here, you see a bunch of different things. Um, you see your gachis, obviously, uh, which will have all your avogachis inside of it. Uh, if you go to the play here, you can see your portals. I'm not going to dox myself with my portals right now. <laughs> but you've got your avogachis here. Um, so we can click on those. I'll, I'll give you a little, little alpha leak on my avogachis, which... They're not all loading right now. Oh no! So we'll pull up one of one of them. Um, so yeah, you can see it just looks like a little ghost. Um, it's a it's an NFT, and each piece of wearable equipment that you see here the helmet, the skateboard, the knife, uh, the pants those are all also NFTs, um, and all of this entire game is 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 on chain as well. Uh, so we'll just pet him a little bit here. And I think I'm not connected. But that's so awesome. <laughs> right there. And like petting him really touched on one of the things we said on the, the first day's keynote. And, and that Jin oh, makes it really weird. Pets are going to be kind of uh, this experience that we have. So just seeing you pet your NFT to make it happy is exactly what we were talking about. Yeah, I think I might be having some issues with like the screen sharing. It's getting kind of funky here. Um, but I assure you, yes, you pet your Avogachi. It, it gives you a little smiley face. It's so happy that you pet it. And then your kinship number increases. Um, so that kind of, what is the kinship number and what is all that? It brings in a whole another layer of DeFi tokenomics. Anybody that's into tokenomics or um, just how how these kind of tokens and um, different things play along with each other, this is going to be really interesting. Um, I'm going to also talk about the, uh, the wiki here because this is another community thing. This is all put together by the community um, with the support of the team obviously. Uh, so I'll link this to. So, I mean, it's not it on the surface. It looks like it's, you know, a little Tamagotchi that you can pet, you know, but if you dig a little deeper, you'll see it, it gets very involved and very complicated and makes it so I think it'll be fun to be played for a long time. 
Um, so we were talking in earlier with Mark from Ave. Um, inside each one of the Avagachis is um, some sort of a collateral stake, uh, which we call the spirit force. Um, so what that spirit force is, is a tokens. Uh, originally, when the game was supposed to be launched on the Ethereum main chain before the gas was outrageously expensive, um, it was planned to be used with just the regular old A tokens. So almost, I'm not, I'm not going to say all um, Aave A tokens, but there are many, all the, all the heavy hitters, if you will, um, A DAI, A USDC. These are all can be used as collateral in your Avogachi. Um, and they continue generating the yield as if they were um, an interest bearing A token. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Aave, when you deposit a, um, let's say a DAI token inside the protocol, in return, you'll get a DAI, which generates a certain interest, um, which is uh, defined by the protocol. Um, so while it's in your Avogachi, it remains to generate that interest as well. Um, and then since we moved to Matic, um, they had to come up with a way to move those A tokens over to Matic as well, and they did. Um, shout out to Nick Mudge and everybody else in the team who figured that one out. Um, so yeah, I mean, Avogachi, uh, we just recently launched. Uh, the porters, portals sold out very quickly. Um, so we've got a couple of things going on now, um, which also might be of interest to everybody that's involved in the DAO space. Um, we've got a DAO vote that's just about to go up, um, I think in about 24 hours or so. Um, you can check out the Medium article on that over here. I'm gonna link that in the chat as well. Um, so they're gonna be having a DAO vote on the next portal drop. Um, how many portals, what, when it, should we even have one? <laughs> There's lots of uh, lots of discussion around that. Um, also, another raffle has is upon us. The big L two raffle. You can win some awesome, awesome wearables. Speaking of that, I didn't really talk about the wearables that much. That's what I was thinking. I was going to ask you what your favorite wearable is that you have. Oh well, hands down. My favorite wearable. Oh, they added all the new ones already. This is my favorite wearable right here. The beer helmet. Because I made it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it so much. No, but honestly, I don't know. What is my favorite as far as like, what's the best? Anything godlike is 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 pure godlike. Um, we've got some community community members that have been fighting over the uranium rods because they are very powerful. Um, also, I'm just scrolling through here. Every one of these items, if you can see my screen, is in the game right now as a wearable that you can purchase and you can put it on your little Avogachi. Um, and not only is it a wearable that looks cool, it also gives you some kind of stats in the game too. Um, which will come into play when season one starts and rarity farming becomes a thing. So How with rarity rec farming, <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to, time? which one? Go ahead. The rec time? Is, it, is that any good? I, that's the only one that I got because I loved it so much. Which and one was it? I didn't hear what you said. The rec time? That oh. was right there. I love it. That's record. one of my favorite ones. This is Brain Minus Four, which honestly is very powerful. I've come to see as I've been like scouting scouting these things out and like what do I need? Anything that's like one stat plus or minus and nothing else is usually pretty good, I think. Because sometimes you just need that. Oh man, I need if only I had like six more brain, you know, I'd have this great link cube because Link Marine smart. I mean, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Sorry to derail you with my rec sign. No, I love <laughs> the rec sign, dude. Well, and you know, I think that is part of the Mark Zeller 
Seth, uh, which is very topical. Um, we talked to him today. So he's got a great set, uh, beautiful hair, beautiful shirt, and, and the rec sign. And um, set bonuses will be a thing. Um, some of the other Ave founders, this is Stani's set. He's got a boat, uh, a little life jacket, and a great haircut, great head hair on that guy. Um, some of the, these, most of these were from previous raffles. Um, so the great thing about the raffles is, you know, it gives anybody that's active in the community or holds, you know, stakes even a small amount of the token um, has a chance to win, you know, some really cool wearables. Um, so all of these, I think, except for the OKX. All right, maybe not all of these. I'm lying. Yeah, but we got you know, the Sushi Chef. I mean, there's these, so many great sets. I'm just looking through. This is my favorite page of the wiki, so I always get caught here. You just tell me when I run out of time. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got, obviously, the Dow, too. Um, it's, it's a path to decentralization. We're right now... Um, going through a lot of the stuff with snapshot trying out snapshot and um just recently opened a discourse forum and uh, we're doing a lot of governance on um on the avagachi discord as well too well, so i guess great, um so go ahead yeah thank you so much for that introduction i think that gives people a lot of information and a lot of the reasons why they should go start collecting some virtual yield bearing pets <laughs> because yeah i'm just i'm upset that i couldn't get this working right i think it's my um all right let's see if oh there he goes there he's excited about that <laughs> Avitalik. there you go and then um so yeah the, his kinship um increases and uh yeah I yeah I, I like the, the way that you guys say friends the friends oh yeah friends yeah friends so uh, friends are the what you get from staking. So if I go back here, we can go to the stake section. Again, all of it's from avagachi.com. Um, you can just go to stake your ghost. Everything happens on Polygon now. Um, oh, I'm doxing my friends. Um, I haven't spent them yet. So yeah, you can input there, and it'll tell you how many friends you're going to get per day. Um, you know, it's... And then once you get your friends from staking, um, you can then buy your raffle tickets um, here. And I have one. I have one godlike ticket. Yes, and I will enter one godlike. So hopefully I win. It has happened before. I entered three mythics and I didn't win. No. I, I was this this is the first raffle where I'm actually gonna get anything mythical or above every previous raffle I went legendary or below and I made out pretty well in most of them yeah I got a, I got a few a few under under legendary but yeah awesome wearables thank you so much vanilla Delphia thank you very much for everyone else that uh, came and spoke today